Well, another month has passed, so it's time for an update on the 20 gallon nano tank. It's been a month of some more ups and downs. Uh, a few, you know, bright spots, but kind of a lot of low points too. But overall, I mean, it's still here. There are some things that are doing well and some things that are not doing so well. So let's just get into there and I'll show you what's happening. Um, so I think last time, I don't know if I had all of these acros up here. My whole plan this whole time was uh, to get a bunch of acro frags, mount them all over this tonga branch. I got to have them branching out in every direction and you make this cool little tree there. Um, it hasn't really panned out the way I had intended so far. And if we zoom in a little bit, um, most of these frags are just toast. So you can just see, you know, dead, 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 dead. Uh, that one's not dead. That one's alive, but it used to be deep purple. It's not anymore. Half dead, mostly dead. So yeah, had some uh, failures there. Um, I think I'm partially to blame for it. I had, you know, one, that frag pack from Rico. I had all the frags set up down here. They were all looking pretty good. Um, I decided to mount them all up top. It's time to get, you know, this thing going. Had all my frags mounted, and I really wanted to start seeing some growth. So I figured I was going to kick this tank in high gear. I increased the lighting and just let it go. And, you know, pretty much one by one, <laughs> each frag just started poof, 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 gone. So maybe I was just pushing too hard, too fast on these things, and they just couldn't take it. Um, so yeah, I lost those. Pretty disappointing. I'm gonna have to cut all these things off of there now. Um, I did have that issue with those little red bugs. I think I don't even know if you can see any more on there. I don't even know if they're still in here. But for sure, some of my frags that are alive are just so washed out like hardly any color to them so I'm not quite sure why that is but aside from the acros um, a lot of the other stuff is doing good uh, you know bird's nest digitatas um, montiporas a um, bunch of the acros down on the sand bed are all okay so that's what led me to think that it was the lighting um, but yeah some of these things really have shown a lot of growth over the last uh, couple of months like this frag here you can see where the original frag was, and it's all you know, new growth over the plug. Uh, some of these ones, this Montipore, this green one, it's all plating out there. Um, it's another one that died. This one, you know, encrusted onto there. So a lot of them have grown. A bunch of these digis on here have started to encrust out. And, you know, these four are fine. This one over here, I don't know what's going on with that one. Just not doing too good. So it's just weird how certain things are doing really good and other ones are you know, haven't done well at all. But you know, it's you take your losses with the good stuff, I guess. So I'll probably put some more stuff in here. Maybe I'll less focus on the acros since they don't seem to be doing too good in here. And more focus on maybe the Montipores and bird's nests and stuff I could put in there and hopefully they'll grow out fast. But I was really hoping to have a lot more to show at this point. It's been, you know, six months, going on six months. Well, not quite, five months. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, one bright spot, you know, I got my cardinal fish in there now. I did buy three and I put them through quarantine. Unfortunately, one did not make it through quarantine. Don't know what happened. He was just uh, fine one day, and next day he just was dead. Uh, no visible signs of illness or anything. I, they did go through hyposalinity, um, so I don't know. Maybe just couldn't take it. But anyway, these two are are fine. Uh, the only problem is they're really hard to feed. I've always read that these were you know, fish that would eat almost anything, and not these guys. They would not eat anything I gave them. They won't eat flake pellet. Uh, all sorts of things. The only thing they really like to eat was frozen food. You know, frozen brine shrimp or maybe mysis. Um, that's a little bit of a problem because I don't want to have to feed these guys frozen every single day. But luckily, I did find one other thing that they will like, and it is freeze-dried brine shrimp. They will eat this stuff. It's the only 
non-frozen food uh, that I could get them to eat. I'll throw some in now. Food in there, you'll see they'll go crazy for the stuff. But yeah, that's the only non-frozen food I could get them uh, to even touch. And I don't know if that's good for them. I don't know if they could just survive on brine shrimp or freeze-dried brine shrimp. So I'm thinking about maybe taking these two guys out and putting them in a 180 gallon tank because I do feed that tank frozen almost every day. Uh, the barnacle blennies are still in here. Here, awesome as ever. Full in there. Another little guy right there. They're always fun to watch. Uh, I got the peppermint shrimp. A bunch of hermit crabs and some snails. And that's about it for the uh, you know things that are in here. So that's about it. I'm not sure what else to say uh, at this point, other than um, yeah, I'm going to take out all these dead frags and maybe start focusing on some of the things that are doing good in here. Maybe get a few more frags of them in there, and then. Uh, maybe I'll, I can get them to start growing and start to fill out this tank a bit. But, um, yeah, that's about it for now. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And, you know, as always, I appreciate those thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.